Hey everybody, it's Jeff here at the Brethren Workshop. Uh, yeah, I watched a uh, pretty good uh, documentary that Pastor Nathan ordered and, and lent to me uh, the other day, and it really opened my eyes to some things. It's, if you can see it here, it's uh, about the Free Burma Rangers, and it's a story of Dave and Karen Eubank, who are missionaries in uh, war-torn Burma, and then in Iraq, and in Mosul, Iraq, and one of the worst places where ISIS had a stronghold. And as I was watching this movie, I was a little skeptical at first, because it talked a lot about war, and you know, there's... Uh, he was in there carrying guns and different things like that, and I, I thought, how does this relate to being a, a Christian? But as I watched the movie, I, I realized one thing that, you know, Dave, when, when he was doing something, he always prayed, God, is this what you want me to do? Is this what you, it was constantly prayer, he was constantly in God's word, and he was constantly praying to God, asking him for uh, his provision, what he wanted him to do at the time. And the one thing that amazed me about it was a lot of times when, when uh, he was saving people, I don't want to tell you too much about the movie in case you want to watch it, I'm going to spoil it for you, but a lot of times when he was saving uh, somebody, uh, for one example, there was a lady who was pinned down for, for three days, she was shot in the leg, and she laid there for three days and she couldn't move, this was in, in Mosul, Iraq, and they found a way to get her out of there, God's provision helped him get her out of there and make a long story short. But the thing was that I realized that these people were praying for help. And so many times in this movie you can see, I was praying and God sent you to me. And, and even though he was a man of war, uh, he was an army ranger, I think for like 10 years, and then he, he started as Burma Rangers. And what they did is they went uh, to these different places where God called them. And they uh, helped with... Uh, uh, medical stuff, healing people, giving medicine and, and medical treatment. Uh, they filmed the atrocities that were going on so the world could see what was going on in these these uh, countries that seemed so far away that nobody really pays attention to. And he was rescu rescuing people, saving their lives. And the, thing that, the biggest thing I, I got from it was how God used him. Uh, even though it might seem not unconventional, the way he did things and, and the way that he... Uh, he rescued people in the way that he uh, trained the people to go to these uh, front lines and help. We could see where he was a man of God and he was relying on God. And God was using him mightily in this way. And you can see through the whole time he was praying. And there was times he, he got so angry that he said, I, I just, I'm done with this. I just, I'd, I'd like to kill that whole uh, ISIS, you know, or the whole Burmese army or whoever because of the atrocities. And then he'd sit back and the next day and he'd say, God, I'm sorry, I repent, I, I love them. I, I want you to teach me how to love them. And you could just see this passion for Christ that, that just worked, you know, he worked through back and forth, just like we do a lot of times. And one of the keys to it was, is we see how God answered these people's prayers that maybe... You know, they, they were so overwhelmed with what was going on in their countries with the war and stuff, and they were praying, God, send somebody to help. And all of a sudden, here comes David and his family. Even his little kids were there along with him a lot of the time, doing God's work. And you could see where he was the answer to the prayer. And it might not be the way we would see the prayer being answered. And how many times do we do that? You know, we see so many times in the Bible it says about God answering prayers and, and protecting us, especially in Psalm 91, I think about it. He talks about how all the ways that he protects us. But how many times do we pray and we sit and wait for an answer and we say, well, I'm going to pray for this and this is how it's going to happen. This is how I'm going to be healed. This is how I'm going to be saved. This is how my family member is going to be brought to salvation. And when it don't happen that way, we're disappointed and think the prayers weren't answered. But the thing is, they are answered. God always answered our prayers. Now, sometimes he says no, not at this time, or no, period, because he knows what's best for us. And that he knows what's best for us, we don't see everything that he's doing. Uh, a lot of times, and most of the time, he'll answer prayers and we think it's going to be one way in our paradigm. We're going to say, this is how it has to be. And I always say for myself, I say, okay, Lord, what's it going to be, A or B? And somehow God always sneaks C or D in there that I didn't even see happen. So, you know, it was just a good lesson. It's a good movie if you get a chance to watch it and think about it. I mean, um, 
It's a little violent at times, but it's a true story. It shows shows what goes on and what's going on in, in these different parts of the country where God's work is being done through people that we might not think that are they're unconventionally done. And we can see how God, you know, we think that God can't use us because of the things we've done in our life or Maybe we're trained for something, or, or we were taught something that God aligned for us to be taught. And we say, how can we use that for Christian work? But if we trust God, and we're walking with Him, and we're praying, and we're reading the Bible, He's going to show us how we can use those skills, and how uh, He's going to work through us to use those skills that He gave us to do His work. And it makes us remember, and it's a really humbling thing when this happens, to remember that it's not about us. So I just want to want you guys to remember that this week, that when we pray, don't always think of the outcome as the way we expect it to happen. Know that the prayers are answered, and just sit back, and the key is to have faith. God always says, you know, don't don't look for the outcome. Don't uh, worry about that. That's that's God's uh, job to do. Ours is just to have faith and do what He tells us to do and seek His will. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this time together. We thank you for people like the missionaries in the field, like the Eubanks family, and people that we don't even know of, or maybe we never even heard of, dear Lord, that are doing your work in, in, in uh, places we might not even know about in unconventional ways, but their faith and, and uh, their just falling of you is what gives them the opportunity to do this, that you work through them because they have such great faith and that you can work through people like us. And we just thank you for the opportunity, and we ask you to show us that opportunity and what you want to use us for. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.